Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Yolanda and I am a zero-based cash budgeter. In today's video, we are going to be um, organizing my binders and creating two, two new binders. Um, so long story short, I got this binder from Erica and you'll see in my last video, I did an un unboxing and uh, budget with me. And I do want to change this to be my one month ahead binder. And for the second binder that I'm going to be putting together, that is my pets binder. So this month or month of May was a high spend month. And when I say high, I mean high and I was not prepared for it. And I know that our budgets, you know, you have to take the good with the bad. And thank goodness I had a sinking fund that would cover um, I had my pet sinking funds that covered the expense, but um, it just goes to show that I I wasn't prepared for it. So I took Kira, which is my oldest cat, she's four, gonna turn five, to get groomed. And I thought it was gonna be 250. That's how much I spent for it last year. So I said, since it was last year was her first time getting groomed, I'm gonna have her groomed again this year for 250. But when I picked her up from the vet, the bill was over six hundred dollars and i was not prepared for that right so i had saved up 250 to get her groomed and then i saved up for their annual expenses and i thought i would have been covered for the rest of the year um but this the extra 400 dollars put a huge dent in my budget so i think so i want to create a binder that is separate for them right so a pets binder that's separate that covers annual expenses their monthly food litter grooming um medication stuff like that so I, I wanted to treat it like how i treat my high priority binder how i treat my holiday binder so that this doesn't happen again and now i know that i need to budget a little bit higher but now i'm trying to maintain and budget her i'm sorry groom her myself um which would mean more cutting and um daily maintenance right and hopefully I can keep up for it, but $600 is a lot, especially since um, I wasn't expecting it, but I think I'm, I'm grateful that I did have a sinking fund and they did have a buffer in their account that would allow me to actually pay for that bill. But when I say I was shocked, I was shocked. Um, but she did come out beautiful. I am gonna put a post a picture right here and I know her fur is gonna come back, grow back sooner because last year we got her groomed in july um right before and so her fur came back right before winter winter came um so that's why i said we got to do a little bit more maintenance but um yeah that happened so um and that is just for one of the expenses and just it was just one thing after the other um so you'll see a lot of my envelopes when i do do a, uh, my stuffing for my second paycheck of may you'll see that um a lot of my envelopes are at zero and that's okay right we'll just build it back upwards but i do want to treat their their binder as um a whole new entity right like my holiday binder right so yeah we're gonna quickly get into it and then i do want to do my one month ahead we are almost max i almost i am almost maxed out for my my um 401k sorry not my 401k my i wish my roth ira at seven thousand dollars and i'm between the decision of one because it is june july hopefully i max it out before july um do i continue to invest that money meaning invest in stocks in my robin hood portfolio which is what i intended to do and what i had done last year or should i take the next five months um five six five or six months whenever i max out the roth ira and contribute that to my three to six months uh, or getting one month ahead i'm starting off with month one so mo one month ahead and then we'll work on two three four and five um to six right but that is also one of my goals at least to get one month or two months ahead but i haven't really been contributing much funds to it because i was focused on investing 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 so if you look at my budget with me and how i budget my side hustle pay which is how I'm able to max out my Roth IRA, I would take the money for my side hustle, not for my nine, nine, nine to five, not the 10% from my nine to five, the 70% that I take from my side hustle, I would contribute that towards my 
one month ahead binder. So let me know whether or not you guys think that I should continue to invest it and just continue to grow my portfolio or try to get to that three to six months or contributing to my one month ahead binder. Um, my, we, I, we, obviously, I spoke about this with my husband. He thinks I should go for the one month ahead. Let's try to get one month ahead. Um, and that's the direction that I'm leading to. So with, that's why I'm putting together this binder because I'm still gonna contribute to it. It's just about how much, right? It would definitely get me a little further ahead if I was to um, do that 70%. Okay, um, so I am going to pull out, there are a couple of envelopes that I got, I had gotten rid of. So these are my pets envelopes. One is for my pet son, my high priority, which is what I spend on food and litter on a monthly basis. And the other one is, no, this is for their, the small one. The pink one is their, for their monthly um, expenses. And then this one is their long-term sinking fund. And I use this for annual visits. I was I use it for her grooming, and if and an, and an emergency fund, a small emergency fund. So I was looking to build that up as well. Um, I had ended up having to dip into my buffer, and that's my fault. Too much eating out, which it's not going to happen anymore. Um, and. So, so that's so I pulled out their pet fund from the high priority and their low priority binder since it's gonna be from my low priority binder since they're going to be having their own binder and I also combined Blackstone and date night we haven't been going out to date night with um, friends and family so I just combined the two and in the event that we do go out with a group um, I'll just pull from my date night envelope and then I also removed the rollover envelope because I think any rollover that I do have hasn't happened yet. Um, apart from the blessings envelope, I will contribute to the pets fund because I do need to get, um, I need to build that back up before I take them, take all three of my pets to get their annual examination and their vaccinations. So um, yeah, a lot has been going on. So. Yeah, let's quickly get into it. I created labels and envelopes for this binder, so I'm gonna put to get put that together first, and then I'm gonna work on my bills binder. Uh, sorry, my pets binder. So I got this from Drip by E, but from Black and Blue, and I'll link her shop and her channel down below. She sells envelopes. I was rushing to place this order, so I didn't take a look at her envelopes. I just looked at the binders and the pen but she does have black envelopes which i thought were super cute and would look would look nice with white labels um but i didn't want zipper envelopes also so that's why i didn't go for that but i do use zipper envelopes for my planner and i also used it for my a5 challenges so i think that it's a great option i went with vellum for this because i wanted to be extra and just put something nice in this um and i didn't put the labels on yet but i am going to so it's my one month savings my one month bills are subscriptions um, which is 500 dollars for the year um so once i max that out that's it electricity gas groceries gym internet pets phone rent miscellaneous and cable Cable, I don't have an envelope for. I don't even think I created a label for it. I just included it. So I don't pay for cable now and I play for limited internet and that's because we get it for free through my husband's job. So we don't really include it. If worst, worst case scenario, um, we lose the free internet then we will discuss whether or not we would even can we would even get that service and pay for it when i was paying for it with verizon when my bill had went to 250 250 dollars that was when i had called it quits right so i wasn't going to do that and then i have my expense tracker so it's going to be one to six months and as i get towards each as i fulfill each one i'll just check it off and then my envelopes and so they're just regular solid vellum envelopes and I am going to put the labels on it now just gonna put that up there so 
so i hope everyone's doing amazing i the weather has been pretty nice over here with the exception of some days with rain um but all in all it's been pretty nice so i'm grateful for that and i hope it continues okay sorry guys i was just i was just keeping the labels in there so i have i'm gonna put them in the same order so i'm gonna pull this out and i am just gonna put the labels on it let me just quickly grab some would yeah this should do the trick so I pre-cut pre these with my Cricut um, I use my Cricut Joy even though I have a Cricut maker Cricut Explorer but and then I did put one for the cover I just I want to put it on last because I'm not really sure I went with I really don't want to mess up the cover so I went with this sparkly um you can't even see it see it's sparkly let's say I'll put like a can't really see it sparkly month ahead but I know you can't really see it um because I was thinking about putting it on the spine and I don't want it to be that noticeable but I'm gonna put that to the side and just deal with the rest of them I'm just gonna do it in order. I don't even think I need to do an order. I was gonna do it in white to keep with the theme, but you can't really see the white on the, I guess you can, but I went with the black instead. And then I figured I can always change it uh, if I completely, completely hate it, right? So what I'm gonna do, subscriptions. And like I said, my subscriptions for the year, um, not necessarily month, because I pay annual, I do annual subscriptions. Um, that's $500. And clearly if, if, it's, if, you know, something terrible happens and we can't afford subscriptions, I will just get rid of it. <laughs> get rid of them completely. Right, so. And I usually use a mat underneath this to to make it even, but I'm just gonna eyeball it. I think I can just use this line in between here. Electricity, which is Con Edison, is next. I'll probably do miscellaneous next to get it out of the way. Um, and miscellaneous, I didn't have this envelope before. I feel like I was missing something in regards to bills. These are what these are the bills that comes out of my bill binder, bill, bill account, and what I have in my high priority that are man that I need every single month. Uh, okay, I have to redo miscellaneous. Let's see if I can salvage it. There we go. Um, but I wanted to put, you know, some towards miscellaneous in case I was missing something. Um, and I think I put a total of $500 as well for annual. So not monthly for this one. It just has a flat rate of a flat savings of $500. Um, groceries, 
same thing i budgeted 500 dollars for groceries we are just uh up to we're a family of two me and my husband and it's usually about five hundred dollars maybe a little bit more uh but i'm just gonna leave it at five hundred dollars in the event that i have to raise it to 600 because groceries keeps going up um i'll just adjust it later on but we haven't even gotten towards saving towards month one for this so have a little bit of time internet same thing with my internet since we get a reduced rate for our internet services let's say we no longer get that reduced rate i my one month ahead is budgeted for if we had to pay the full amount so let's say i think verizon's 80 dollars um my one th one month ahead is eighty dollars even though i budget forty dollars on a monthly basis because we get the reduced rate i don't know if anybody else does that let me know if you guys do that as well um for me that makes the most sense because you want to you want to consider worst case scenarios and yeah that's how i I deal with mine. I think it's about the thunder, guys. Pretty sure I just saw flash. It's not raining though. I just saw flash. Same thing with phone. Um, also, we get a reduced rate, so I'm budgeting what the the regular rate for our phone is. Phone would be if we didn't. don't mind the nails it is gonna be a busy week for me and I really don't need um, I really can't have acrylics on right now but I might paint them I'll paint them tomorrow it's too late now yeah I'll paint them tomorrow And so Jim, I did mess up with Jim because I only included my subscriptions, um, my membership, not subscription, my membership, I needed to include my husband. So I got to change that and just increase the monthly value of what I already have saved. But that's okay because it's about $40. So it'll put me like a month behind because I think I was on month four. But um I know that he loves his gym and my gym's not gonna cut it for him even though he goes with me sometimes um rent we're not even close so rent and then the final one is gas so i do have a one month i'm going to post a one month ahead binder on my site tomorrow or the day after this video is posted if it's not already there um and it'll just be the suite the leather binder the faux leather binders that i sell um with these envelopes what well, not these off the a6 size not a7 um just a smaller version of these envelopes and the same font with trackers and i'm going to transfer my trackers now and that's gas So let's just put these in order. I love how they came out. I was debating of whether or not I should do glitter. These are slightly larger than what an A7, A5 um, envelope is, like if you were to look at the zipper. But I did that intentionally. So they're slightly bigger, maybe about an inch. And then 
couple of like a half a centimeter centimeter at the bottom but i wanted it to be a little bit larger because i wanted it to fit perfectly in the binder so rent gym pets phone pets internet gym groceries miscellaneous subscriptions gas subscriptions electricity gas here we go okay and i'm going to put them in here okay wow look at how beautiful that looks so I wanted it to be a little bit longer here and then I wanted it to come at the side. So I made them a little bit larger. I really think I'm gonna do the same thing for my savings challenge binder. Um, that's why all my envelopes are always a little bit larger than what an A6 is. And okay, so I actually needed this binder. So I am gonna fill in this Of what my monthly bills are so subscriptions I put amount was 500 for electricity I put 240 um, gas I put 200 groceries 500 gym is 60 but I need to make that 120 one oh wait a minute mine is 30 this is 40 that's 70 um i'm gonna change gym to 100 only because i'm factoring in the annual ex annual um annual expense that they charge the membership annual membership um and then they charge you a monthly fee so i just put it i'm just gonna round up to 100 and that should cover me internet is 90 miscellaneous 500 pets 500 phone 160 and rent is 2000 and nothing for cable i don't have a cable envelope and just in case anything other comes up i just included a couple of lines and so i'm just gonna i'm, gonna, I'm not gonna put that in yet i'm just gonna transfer these funds so subscriptions And I'm, I already keep trackers. Insurances are rental insurance. And I didn't start that one yet. I'm just doing just the regular subscriptions. Okay. I think I wanna put these in the back. Look at how nicely that looks. Okay, Con Edison. Yes. Groceries. I'm just going based on the trackers if you guys are wondering how I know why these are unlabeled, how I know which envelope is what. Pets. Wait, this is my pets. This is miscellaneous. So I'm gonna put that to the side. Pets. Phone. Oh, look at that. I'm gonna do one more flip through because I want to I want to see it. I can actually put this through. Yes, 
groceries, shim, internet, pets, phone, rent, miscellaneous. Ugh. Okay. Beautiful. Now I want to see. I don't know. I really don't want to mess it up. But I guess I can always take it off. Let's try it. I'm going to put this on the spine. Um, here. So I do have one more. I'm going to add it. The back here. Um, and if I need it, I'll just pull it out. I need to get an all white pen from America to just put here. Actually. Actually. No, because this writes white. Okay. If I don't like this, I'm just going to take it off, but I do want to see how it looks on it. Okay, guys, wish me luck. Okay, here we go. Oh, actually, it's really nice. I hope you guys, can you guys see that? Let's see. I'll open this mine. Came out really nice. I don't want to put anything on the front, though, but I do might, I might add a one month ahead down here. But I do like this font. So that's going to go right there. I'm going to move it to the end, but we're going to go to the next binder that I wanted to set up. And that is my pets envelope. Sorry, my pets binder. And I'm doing an acrylic binder for them. And so I just posted these on my website. So I'll link my shop down below. Okay, and I am just going to use this. And I didn't create a label for their front because I created a dashboard for them, but um, for this binder. But in, in the event that I want to put something on it, I can always just add it. Okay. Try not to get fingerprints on it. Here we go. And the back. I wasn't sure if I wanted to go with small rings or large rings. These are on my site as well, so I did them in vellum. Um, but what you see on my site is the whites. So I don't have this dashboard, but I do have the pets. And my categories that I'm doing is boarding and travel, emergency fund, food and treats, grooming, litter, medicines and treatments. So that's like flea treatments. They haven't gotten flea treatments because they don't go outside. Um, Kira, I used to get her a collar. Um, but maintenance-wise and clean, cleanliness, um, we keep them pretty clean. So um, they haven't had any flea, any trip fleas, so knock on wood. Um, the only person that, because spring gives me a hard time to give her treatment. Winter, not so much. Um, he'll cry, but he'll he'll actually let me do, do it. Uh, miscellaneous toys and beddings of course they have to have that and then another dashboard cover but I'm gonna use the vellum ones and I am using let's go with the one inch
I could use the smaller rings, but I'm going to use this one because it's on my desk. And if I need to change it, I'll change it. Okay. And same thing, I just want to make sure that they're in order. babies and I do have a band for this it is somewhere around here I um had to get them oh here we go I had to use a thicker band usually like I use the two straps and on my site it has the two straps but I had left this on my office desk and one of them had eaten it so bitten through the straps so i had to get a thicker one so i might post these or switch them out but i do like the fact that it covers it and i had decorated one of them but it is now on my outside desk so i am gonna put some funds in these and take it from here which are the two envelopes that i had pulled and then i'll put trackers in there later so they're 500 dollars. i'm gonna put that towards annual visits and, and vaccinations because that hasn't been done yet um five six five seven eight nine actually let's do let's see if i can find a thousand five six seven eight nine twenty forty sixty eighty ninety five one thousand so one thousand dollars is gonna go into their annual visits and vaccinations because that hasn't been done yet and let's see what I have left. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and fifteen dollars. I'm just gonna put this into foods and treats, and then when they, um, when I get paid, or when I stuff my second paycheck of May and my first paycheck of June, I'll put more money towards this because I need to build it up um ASAP because I think their next visit to the vet even though now I'm afraid to go to the vet I'm going to change these rings is is this month in June I think it's June 23rd that's when they need their new vaccinations and that's about it thank you guys so much for watching I'm sorry for the chit chat video I am so happy about how these two binders came out i am going to do a smaller version of this one and post a picture of it because i want to see how it comes out and i'm going to put something i'm going to put the the um, vinyl on the front because i want to see how that turns out i'm not sure what color i'm going to use yet though because i have the options of pink blue pink and blue um yeah that's about it thank you guys so much for watching um, I'm going to link Black and Blue's channel and shop down below. Definitely check her out. And I'll link my shop down below if you guys are interested in any of the items that you saw today. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.